we want to use the graph of f of x to sketch a graph of f prime of x. Remember the derivative function values are equal to the slopes of the tangent lines to f of x at given values of x. So to approximate derivative function values, we will sketch several tangent lines and determine the slopes of the tangent lines. We will record the information below in the table. Each column on the table will give us one point on the graph of f prime of x. Let's begin by determining the points on the graph of f of x where the tangent line would be horizontal. Notice this would occur at x equals zero at this point here, as well as this point here. Well, let's say x is 3.8. Let's go ahead and sketch the tangent lines. Here we have the tangent line at x equals zero. And here we have the tangent line at x equals 3.8. We know the slope of a horizontal line is always zero which means the derivative function values are zero at x equals zero, as well as x equals 3.8. Let's record this in the table below. When x is equal to zero, the slope of the tangent line and the derivative function value is zero. At x equals 3.8, the slope of the tangent line and the derivative function value is zero. This gives us two points on the graph of f prime of x. And that's got some additional tangent lines. Let's sketch the tangent line at x equals negative one, which would be this point here. And now let's approximate the slope of the tangent line by determining the ratio of the vertical change to horizontal change, or the ratio of the rise to the run. So we'll go down enough units so that we can go right exactly one unit to find another point on the tangent line. So notice how if we go down approximately 1.5 units, and write one unit, we find another point on the tangent line, and therefore the vertical change is negative 1.5, the horizontal change is positive one, the slope of the tangent line at x equals negative one is negative 1 1.5. So for our table, when x is equal to negative one, the slope of the tangent line and the derivative function value is approximately negative 1.5. And now let's find the slope of the tangent line at let's say x equals two which would be this point here. Let's go ahead and sketch the tangent line. And now let's find the slope. From the point of tangency, looks like if we go down one, two, three units, and right one unit, we find another point on the tangent line. The vertical change is negative three, horizontal change is positive one. The slope of the tangent line is negative three at x equals two which means that x equals two, the derivative function value is negative three. Let's go ahead and find one more tangent line at let's say x equals 4.5, which should be approximately here. Let's go ahead and sketch the tangent line. And now let's find the slope. Notice we go up approximately 4.5 units and then write one unit, we find another point on the tangent line, and therefore the slope is equal to 4.5 divided by one or 4.5. So when x is equal to 4.5, we know the derivative function value and the slope of the tangent line is 4.5, or at least approximately 4.5. And now let's plot these five points, which we know are on the graph of the derivative function. We have the point zero comma zero, 3.8 comma zero, negative one comma negative 1.5, which is approximately here, two comma negative three, which is here, and 4.5 comma 4.5, which is approximately here. Now that we have these five points, we can make a nice graph of the derivative function. We know the graph must pass through these five points. Before we sketch the derivative function though, let's look back at the original function. Notice as we move to the left, the slopes of the tangent lines will decrease without bound, and so will the derivative function values. As we move to the right, the slopes of the tangent lines increase without bound, and so will the derivative function values. So when we sketch the graph, to the left we know it decreases without bound, and goes down, and then it passes through the points, and increases without bound. On the left, we have the graph of f of x, the original function. On the right, we have the graph of f prime of x, 
which is the derivative function. I hope you found this helpful.